Balls and Butts Everywhere, written by Christina Curtin, August 7th, 2019. First things first, I am not a lady. No one would ever call me prim or proper. I fart because everyone does. I crack dirty jokes. I wear a baseball hat to the dinner table sometimes, and I go to the bathroom with the door wide open. In no way am I a classy gal. And Vince is a boy, so there's that. Boys are just gross. Why must you touch your balls all the time? Why must you show me tricks with them, like the flying squirrel or the ugly girl? I don't want to see your balls, Vince. No one does. So it goes without saying that my daughters are also not pure, sweet little flowers. My girls are downright crude sometimes. Now, don't get all judgy on me. At least let me explain first. They have manners. They say please and thank you, excuse me, and Gianna washes her hands. Mainly, my girls are crude in their humor. I didn't set out to raise them to be that way. It all started quite innocently and with the highest parental intentions. Years ago, when Gianna was born, I was reading all the parenting advice I could find online because my experience was pretty mediocre in that department. And like many first-time parents, I was uber paranoid about all the ways in which the world could fuck up my kid. How do I keep them from doing drugs? How do I keep them safe from pedophiles? You know, the stuff you should be thinking about when they are two. What the fuck did I get myself into? Anyways, I stumbled across an article back then that said you should teach your kids to know the real names of your body parts. For simple reasons, but also in case some disgusting human decides to touch them, you know the real names of their private parts. So if Gianna said to an adult, Mr. O'Leary was really weird the other day when he wanted to touch my vagina, they would know fucking immediately that shit was wrong. But if she said he touched her tink, people wouldn't have a clue. Tink is what we also call vaginas in our household, which is seriously hilarious if you have ever watched the Tinkerbell movie. There's this one part where she says, being a tink stinks, and I can't help but bust out laughing every single time because I am a child. Anyways, after reading the article, I decided that Gianna and any future children would be 100% comfortable with their private parts. They would know all the right words. But that openness eventually spilled over to us being 100% transparent with them on all subjects. And here's why. I want to be the source of information for them, not their friends or social media, because first off, kids talk to each other and kids are fucking wrong most of the time about a lot of adult stuff like your body and sex. For example, Gianna had a friend a few years ago at school who said he couldn't wait to grow up someday and rape girls. What? She was maybe 10 and she came home and told me this. She knew it was wrong. Now, I don't know a lot of parents that talk to their 10-year-olds about rape, but we had before, because there's no point in sheltering her from the ugly of the world. Information is power. Because she knew what rape was, she knew that it wasn't right that this kid said that. He didn't mean to, but the point of this is that my girls know a lot about mature topics that most kids their age likely don't have a clue about. I think this is awesome for two reasons. First, there's no point in hiding these things. Making topics taboo just make kids want to know more about them, and they will seek out that information elsewhere if you don't share it. The internet is a playground. And two, being open about life and adult topics improves my kids' sense of humor. According to Scarlett, she sees balls and butts everywhere. Two balloons coupled together, that's a set of balls. Interesting circular knot in an oak tree, that's a butthole. Is all of this slightly immature and crude? Yes. Yes, it is, but I want them to be able to talk about their body parts without being ashamed or uncomfortable, and a building block for that is humor in our family. If you can't laugh about something like sweaty balls or the fact that they play jingle bells on my boobs, I don't know what the point of life is.